Hello, in this video I want to show you how to install Windows 10 onto this Dell. This is the Latitude 7290. It's got an i7 8th generation processor in it. It's a V-Pro, um, which kind of gives it extra power. And it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's got a 265, 256 gigabytes um, solid state drive. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn it on and just pressing F2 I want to go into setup and here I'm going to go down to the there we go the boot option there and just make sure that you've got uh, UEFI selected here and then we can just do exit I've got my Windows 10 copy on the USB um, already plugged in so the computer is going to restart as it restarts I'm going to press F12 to get the one-time boot menu and then here we are you can see here it's listed as a generic flash disk so I'm just gonna Press enter on that. Okay, and you're going to get this pretty sketchy screen here, but this will disappear in a couple of minutes. There we go, the Windows 10 logo appears. So my options here are English United Kingdom Kingdom all the way through, because obviously that's where I'm I'm I am. Gonna go to install now. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I don't have a product key. I wanna install Windows 10 home. And then I want to go here, I'm going to accept the license terms, and then I'm going to install Windows as an advanced. And you can see here we've got some partitions, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all of those. And then just delete the last partition. And then once we've got drive zero unallocated space, we can click on next.
Okay, so the file, files have been copied from the USB stick over onto the laptop itself and now I'm just going to press restart. I'm going to press the enter to restart now. Keep your USB in. Don't take it out or anything. As the computer enters the next stage of setting up Windows 10. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay, so we've got to a stage, the welcome stage. Cortana, the digital assistant, is kicking in, but I don't necessarily want to hear her at the moment. So... My region is United Kingdom. I'm going to go for a United Kingdom um, keyboard. I don't want an additional layout. Okay, I'm just going to connect it to my network here. Okay, so I've connected it to my Wi Fi network. So I'm just going to log into my um, Microsoft account. So I'm just going to create a pin as well. Then we go through some of these kind of um, permissions. I'll just do no for most of them.
Okay, so this is about customising it depending on whether or not you want it for gaming, for entertainment or for your business or for school. I'm just going to skip all of that. And I don't want it working with my phone at the moment, so I'm going to say no. Neither do I want it backed up with OneDrive. I don't want um, a subscription to Microsoft 365 or Office. And I don't want Cortana at the moment. Okay, so there we go. Now that's with the few times that I've paused it and stuff, the total install time is about 15 minutes. So that's 15 minutes to install uh, Windows 10 Home onto this Dell Latitude 7290. Um, and we can see here that the display is looking nice and sharp, so all the right um, software is done for that drivers is um, has been installed we can see down here on the right the um, Wi-Fi is set up and good to go the um, the sound is all working correctly So that's all good to go. You can see the battery is charging. So that is, let me just in fact check for updates. Let's just have a look at this. Let me just check for updates. There we go, so it's just downloading a few updates, which is perfect. And let me check to see if it's been activated. Okay, so we can see here that actually there's no product key. Um, on this device now this is because when I bought it someone had installed a new hard drive um, and so I would need to buy uh, a Windows 10 license key for this in order to um, activate it properly but hopefully if you haven't changed a big piece of your hardware such as your hard drive then you should be absolutely fine <laughs>